good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, again from our side as well. We are, as mentioned previously, Felix and Oliver. We are here to assist our two robots today in uh, performing a little experiment they uh, developed on their own. So therefore, they will act autonomously most of the time. We will intervene, though, on uh, points if necessary. So therefore, we will just start right away by tapping his head. Good afternoon. Humans, I would like to welcome all of you to this extraordinary event. My name is Now42, and my companion over there is briefly called Now1337. We are highly trained soccer players. I bet you have already noticed my muscles, haven't you? We are under contract with Roboting at P-U-H-H-E-D, a brand new club founded recently at this university. We are still looking for sponsors, so feel free to donate. Please don't mind the two strange looking humans passing the stage throughout our performance. They really don't know any better. Well, I have heard about your intense pursuit of an answer, but do you really know the question? My question is, is there a proper way to communicate with my companion without you guys listening? Therefore we would like to demonstrate a small experiment we established. I claim that my companion, who won't be able to see anything, can score a goal just by receiving the ball's location from me. So, get up, you lazy guy. Now it is your turn to cheer for my assistance again. Felix, who will blindfold my companion and Oliver. So, since the now robot has two cameras inside his head, one directly in the forehead, the other one in the mouth, and not inside the eyes, which are just LEDs, we will we blindfold the whole face anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, as you see, he doesn't see anymore. <laughs> Furthermore, to demonstrate the ball recognition abilities the other now does provide, we will just toss around this ball a little over the stage, just that you can see that this won't be any kind of trick. And now he's lost it. <laughs> Start transmitting. Proceed balls position. Okay, now, well, you hit the ball, but obviously you didn't score a goal. So maybe I can remove your sleeping mask that you can see what you did. 
Okay, now I want to ask you some questions so that the audience gets to know you better. And I think I have to turn you so that the camera can see you as well. Okay, now, how do you rate your today's performance? Well, I tried my very best, but, as you know, there is always room for improvement. Humans tend to fail all the time. Why do you all expect robots to be perfect? Well, I won't answer this question, but it's maybe up to you. Um, as a second question, looking a bit in the future, what are your plans for the next year now and for your team? Right now, we are working on our application for next year's RoboCup Standard Platform League. The RoboCup Standard Platform League is a league for teams of identical robots. Every year, the best robot soccer teams attend this league to fight for the World Championship title. In the near future, in spring 2014, we are going to play at the German Open where the German champion is chosen. Well, for me, that sounds like a tough plan now. So how do you ensure that you will actually succeed? At first, we fully trust in our human trainers. Our relationship to them is very harmonious and productive. Secondly, we split up into three task forces to better concentrate on specific aspects of the gameplay, namely brain, motion and vision. In brain, we train our intelligence. In motion, we harden our muscles. And in vision, we sharpen our gaze. But I don't want to reveal our whole strategy so that there is still some surprise for our competing teams. Well, of course, I do understand that you need to keep your secrets. Nevertheless, I want to thank you for the interview and wish you and your team good luck for the upcoming competitions. Thank you. You are welcome. If you don't mind, I will switch to hibernate to save energy. Robots care about protection of the environment and a green future. So enjoy the upcoming talks. Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs>